Hi, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Taylor, and if it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe because I have a whole bunch of new videos on the way, and this is just one of them. Right here, we have a couple of examples of our topic today. We're, today, we're gonna be talking about couple portrait outlines and how to digitize them and how to bring them to the embroidery machine and how to embroider them. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how can you outline this stuff? I did the research for you. These are the two softwares that I have been able to find, and that is Procreate and Adobe Photoshop. The two videos that are linked below are going to be working in Procreate, and the other one is in Adobe Photoshop. So those two videos can teach you how to do what you're wanting to do, but I am here to teach you how to digitize and embroider. So let's get started. Okay, so once you bring up Hatch, all you wanna do is click on the new button to open up a new design. So once you locate that file, you're just gonna drag it into the software just like this. And it's turned sideways because I had it turned sideways in Canva, but I'm just gonna turn it back on its right side. Once you hit auto digitize, now you're gonna hit click to fill. After that, you're gonna hit the image. So as you can see right over here, we have the two colors that the software was able to detect. So I'm gonna keep it on fine for the embroidery detail. So I'm gonna press okay. And so now, pretty much all you're going to do is click to fill the lines. So just like that, I clicked it and as you can see, it popped up in the sequence as an object. So that's how you know that what you just clicked on became something that can be stitched out. So, and then we're also gonna click on the button right here and his outline for his mouth. And I believe that's everything. And just to double check, I'm gonna hit select and then I'm gonna hit the photo in the background and then I'm going to hit delete. Now that you've finished digitizing your design, you're going to right click or I'm sorry, left click on the screen to make this box appear and you're going to grab the entire design. So if it's been highlighted in purple, that's how you know the design has been successfully grabbed in the software. So now I'm going to go right up here to the width and the height and I'm going to adjust it accordingly for my machine. I have the PE550D and I have a 4x4 hoop. So if you have a 4x4 hoop, you want to make sure it's no bigger than 3.8 inches wide and tall. And so I typed in 3.850 on the width, but the height is still over 3850. And so that's why I would go down to the height and then replace it with 3850. And then the width basically will adjust accordingly. And then I just press, I have a MacBook, so I'm gonna press return. But if you have an HP, you would press enter. And just like that, it basically just change the size of the design. And right over here, I'm gonna hit design to zoom in. And as you can see, there's a lot of, these lines right here are just jump stitches. So once I start stitching out this design on my embroidery machine, these lines right here and right here and right there will probably be there, but I can just use my scissors to clip them off of the design. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to output the design. So on the left side corner, you're going to hit output and then you're gonna hit, you're gonna go down to export and you're gonna hit export. And now you're going to decide where you want this file to be saved. So I have uh, my flash drive already plugged into my laptop. I don't even save the file to my laptop anymore because I don't have space for that. So I save the file directly from Hatch straight to the flash drive. I have the flash drive name saved as files. So I click the flash drive and I'm going to name the design and I'm just going to name it couple outline and I'm going to put four by four next to it. So I know that that is the four by four sized file. 
and right here is the save as type and this is the section that you're going to go to if you're trying to change the file format so i have a brother machine which uses pes files and if you're unaware of what file format your machine needs it tells you right over here you just have to figure out what brand machine that you have and then you just see what file type it is accordingly. So, but like I said, I'm gonna save it as PES and I'm just gonna hit save. And the way to know that it did save is to look right up here and make sure that the name changed from design one to the name that you saved it as. If it didn't change its name, then it probably did not save. I just realized that I did not save the design in Satin Stitch and I would like to, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that as well. So same te technique, I'm going to grab the entire design using a left click and a drag with the mouse. And I'm gonna go right over here and I'm gonna click Satin. And as you can see, it did change some of the jump stitches, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but I do want that clean outcome, so that's why I changed, to, changed it to satin. So now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to click export. And I'm going to press save. It basically just asks me if I want it to replace the file that I had already saved and I clicked yes so it would replace that file and so instead of the tatami one being saved to my flash drive the satin one is saved instead. Now that the file has been downloaded to the flash drive I am going to show you guys how to bring your flash drive to the machine, how to export it, you know this is the tricky part for some people so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'll see you guys at the embroidery machine. Okay, so here we are, and this is what the screen looks like. So you're just going to hit the screen, and it basically just pops up with a warning message to make sure your hands are out of the way because the machine is going to move. And you're just going to hit this button right here. This is the USB button. And mine is going to take a second to load because my flash drive has quite a bit of files on it. Once it loads, you're just going to hit the button right here and that's gonna take you to the back half of the file folder. So you're just gonna hit this one right here and you're gonna press set. And I'm gonna press size to make sure it is as big as it can be because I have quite a small hoop. Now we're just gonna press okay. And then we're gonna press edit end and embroidery. And it's gonna take 12 minutes. Now that we have that all set up, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the hoop. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I already went ahead and cut up some cloth. I'm gonna need one piece of stabilizer as well. Yeah, so now we have the hoop. Doesn't really matter which way you put it. And you're gonna put the piece of stabilizer down first. And then you're just gonna Kind of drape it on top. And then this is technically the tricky part because it's kind of gives you a hard time sometimes. Okay, and so now we can set it up in the machine. Okay, it's all done. This is the final product. I probably should have used a lighter thread, but I didn't think about that until it was like halfway done. <laughs> but this is the final outcome and this was the original image. So please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please let me know if this was helpful.